You want world edit in Minecraft 1.19.4? This video is going to show you how to do it. And the very first step is downloading world edit. So in the description down below, there's a lot of links and we're going to be using a lot of them. But the second one in the description down below takes you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting world edit. It goes through everything you need to know to get it up and running. However, we're also going to be showing you everything in this video. So once you're here, just go ahead and click on the green download world edit button. That will take you off to CurseForge. This is where it's official download page. Now, a new CurseForge comes out by the time you're watching this video, most likely. So let me go ahead and show you what that will look like. So on the new CurseForge, this is what World Edit will look like. And to download it, what you actually want to do is go to Files. Then from Files, you want to find the 1.19.4 version. You want to make sure that it's for Forge as well. It's this very, very top version right here. Go ahead and click on that. And then once you're on this page, Click on the little orange arrow here and click download file. Finally, World Edit will start downloading and after a few seconds you may need to keep or save the file. So as you can see, it's just going to download for us, but you may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Firefox or other browsers. It really just depends on the browser you're using, but World Edit is completely safe with over 27 million downloads. Now before we move on, how about some more sponsor Apex Minecraft hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex and start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much we host all our minecraft servers on them and if you want to start your own server apex has 24 hours seven day a week support super easy mod pack installation and so much more so go check out apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex now we also need forge forge is the mod loader that's actually going to let us use world edit in minecraft so of course in the description down below you can find a link to this this is our in-depth guide for getting forge and it is by far the most in-depth guide on getting forge on the internet it covers everything and we even go through troubleshooting and FAQs. Check this out if you have an issue. But we're going to be going over the basics of getting Forge in this video, so go ahead and click on the yellow Download Forge button. Then take it to Forge's official website. Now you want to make sure that it says MC 1.19.4 here. As we can see, it doesn't. So what we want to do is come to the left-hand side, make sure 1.19 is selected, and then 1.19.4. Once you see Minecraft 1.19.4 here, come under Download Latest and click Installer. Let's take us to Add Focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just wait about 10 seconds. That's all you want to do. Wait 10 seconds, and then in the top right, a Skip button will appear. Now it's kind of gray. It's hard to see. We can zoom in on it to make sure you can see this here. But click this Skip button. When you click on that, in the bottom left, Forge is going to begin downloading. You want to keep or save this file as long as it says Forge in the title, and ours does. You can see Forge 1.19.4. That's the only pay button you want to click on this page. Close out of it as soon as you have Forge downloaded and saved to your computer. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and then we want to move World Edit and Forge to our desktop just because it's easier to use them there. So to do this, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, from in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You should have this Downloads file file folder here. If you don't, you can access it by going to this PC and then clicking on downloads. Now in here, as you can see, we have World Edit and Forge. Let's go ahead and drag and drop these to our desktop again for ease of use. Now we're going to be starting off with Forge here. So let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with select Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java here or if your uh, icons don't look like mine, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, World Edit is a Minecraft mod and with that, you need Java 17. You also need this to start your own Minecraft server, all sorts of stuff. So Java 17 is just nice to have if you plan on modifying Minecraft in any way. Then we also might need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. The jar fix, of course, is in the description down below linked as well. And after you get Java, run the jar fix. Get Java, run the jar fix, and then you should be able, and you will be able, to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the mod system install for Forge here, where all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK. It's not going to download, it's going to install, it's going to do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft. There's only two reasons this wouldn't work. One, Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If either of those are open, this won't work, so you want to close out of both, reopen up Forge, and reinstall it. Or two, if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.4 without any mods or anything like that. So you just want to go launch it. We call it vanilla. There's no mods, no modifications. Just go launch 1.19.4 to the main menu. Once it's there, close out of it, and then come and reinstall Forge. Nevertheless, as you can see, for us, success complete. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.19.4. 
close out of this and that's the hard part. It's super easy to install world edit from here. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then from the Minecraft launcher, what we wanna do is select our forge installation. Now for some of you, it will automatically be selected. It's probably going to be for me. But if it's not, we're going to show you how to select it, and we're even going to show you what to do if the version is wrong. So as you can see, we have Forge 1.19.4 automatically selected. You may be able to click on the arrow and select it. And then if you've got this, click play and click play again. But if you don't, come up here to installations. Now, we have this Forge installation. Ours is good, but if you don't see it here, click on modded. As you can see, we check modded, it disappears. Uncheck modded, or check modded, it appears. Uncheck modded, it disappears. Now, we can also come in here, and if we still don't have the right version, or it just doesn't appear, and click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it World Edit 1.19.4. And then the most important part of this is clicking the version drop down box here and selecting from this drop down release 1.19.4 Forge. Now, mine's at the top. You may need to scroll down a ways to see yours. I've seen it be at the very, very bottom. I've seen it be places in the middle. I've seen it kind of be everywhere. But for me, it's currently at the top. Then we want to change the resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game and click create. Now we have this new profile or installation that's world edit, but it's 1.19.4-4. So that's the important part. So once you see that, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up. It's super easy to install world edit from here. So once we're on the Minecraft main menu, you'll notice that you do have a mods button. This is because you've got Forge installed. That means you can install mods. If there's no mods button here, you didn't launch with a Forge installation or the Forge version. So you want to go back to the Minecraft launcher and make sure you get that set up. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this mods button here. And then once we click on the mods button, all we've got to do is click open mods folder in the bottom left. That will, of course, open up our mods folder right like so. Now, all we need to do is drag and drop world edit from our desktop into this mods folder. Boom. World Edit is now installed. But if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And World Edit's not going to be here until we close out of this. And then we open up the Minecraft launcher again and then play Minecraft with the Forge installation. To use Optifine or any other mods you install, you need to always be playing with Forge or if you're using another mods installer, that installation. So you always want to be playing with the Forge installation here in this case. So it's going to go ahead and now open up Minecraft again. And this time when we get to the main menu, you'll notice that World Edit will be in the mods menu when we click on that mods button so here we are loading in if we go ahead and click on mods there it is world edit awesome 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 so now if we close out of this we can jump into single player just to show you that this is in fact working so uh, i'm actually going to jump into this world here we'll jump into the breakdown seed world kind of a cool seed and then once we jump into this world it's super easy to get started with world edit so we can just do the slash slash wand command now i am in creative cheats are enabled in this world so that is worth noting um, i also seem to be in spectator so we go into creative there boom so now we have the wand the world edit wand by the way is just a wooden axe so i'm going to run that command again just to prove that so we do slash slash wand boom it's just a wooden axe but the power comes from what you can do by selecting things so we can go ahead and make point one with a left click there and then a point two with a right click so we'll come over here and right click all the way down here and now i don't like the look of this sand i think this should be i don't know diamond blocks so let's go ahead and do that so we can do slash replace and then we're going to oh, i'm sorry slash slash replace and then we're going to replace any of the minecraft sand blocks with minecraft diamond blocks boom there we go all of that sand is now replaced anything within the selection now you can also do things like cut this out so we can do slash slash cut boom Oh no, I don't like that, uh, so we can undo it. Let's just say we wanted to remove the diamond blocks. Well, we could do that, but we have to do something a little bit interesting. So we can do slash slash replace all the Minecraft diamond blocks, right? So let's go ahead and type that out, diamond block. And what we want to do here is actually air. We want to replace these with air. And then when we do that, boom, all the diamond blocks disappear, but that's it. Everything else remains in the selection. Because, right, if we cut the selection, it would look like that. So now we can undo. I believe you can do a few undos in a row here. There we go. And now we're back to how we were. So truly, truly powerful. You can copy and paste stuff as well. So let's say we wanted to copy that selection. We can do that. So we can copy. And then it's going to paste uh, ways away from us because it pastes as relative from where you copied it. But if we paste it, it should paste right there. Looking good. So yeah, that's how you can kind of get a basics into World Edit. There's also something in World Edit called brushes. Brushes are super powerful and truly can take things to the next level. So if we go ahead and we grab, for example, a netherite axe. It can be any tool other than the wooden axe to do this with. 
we do slash slash brush, we can do any sort of brush. One of my favorite one is actually going to be the uh, forest brush because it places a bunch of trees. And so we can go ahead and do a sphere, or a sphere, excuse me, and then we'll do a hmm, large oak. And then we hit enter, and now we just right click and boom, it places these trees anywhere. And we can make really dense forests if we want to, so you can even place trees on trees. By the way, if you make a mistake like that, guess what? Undo comes in handy to, uh, to get that... Uh, get that done. It doesn't seem like it's wanting to do it here. Sometimes it doesn't work. But nevertheless, we can make this a super, super thick forest. And you can do stuff like uh, make mega trees. Like you can do crazy stuff like that. <laughs> so there you have it. That is just an example. You can replace and make pathways pretty easily with this as well. For example, by using a replace brush. And truthfully, it's incredible what you can do with World Edit. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy World Edit in your single player worlds. We'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.